can't hit the second. Here's LeBron. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game to the middle. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. No, what is up, guys? We're back with another banger. And today I'm playing NBA TL20, my career. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now, here in the third. Now, here's Lewis. That's good. He's got 12. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. The Pelicans trail. Working on James, six on the shot clock. Carroll from down in the low post, it goes. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Lewis with it, and he has 28 points for the game. Caruso. Here's Davis. Up and in with the jumper here.
is where you can back from our return. I assume it's now to move our return to the US. And this is definitely the best decision for Yonah's family. At the end of the day, his health and happiness comes before his conscience. Although his friends are sad to see him gone, we have to understand what he's going through. This has been a very tough year for him, and we don't even know the full extent of what has happened. To Rez, take your time. We thank you for all the entertainment and joy you've given us over the years. Come back when you're ready, we'll all still be here. In the meantime, if you guys ever happen to find yourself watching one of his old videos, comment on positive. You never know who can see it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Peace. Something wrong with my lungs. 
You already know I'm going to spoil on top to my left side, but it's alright this time. Take on streams one final time on Christmas Eve, 2019, and then step away, not giving another update until January 2020. On January 26th, he tweeted, I miss y'all so much. Happy to say I've changed a lot of things in my life for the better, and got through a lot of things that were affecting me and driving me down. It feels great, but streaming anytime soon is going to be even greater. I got a lot to say and show y'all. A month later, he announced he would be coming back to streaming. We kept to his words and streamed the day following this tweet, but that would be the last time for a while. Corona was beginning, and now his girlfriend could not come back to the U.S. because of travel bans after receiving treatment in other countries. His final stream was on March 12th. His final upload, March 18th. His final tweet, March 19th. That was over six months ago. Leading people to wonder, what happened to CSM Daquan? Faye is taking some much needed time away from the internet. I can't even begin to imagine the things he's been through the past two years, and I believe he deserves as much time as he feels necessary to regain his health again. We all found his family silent and continue to support him throughout it. Today, I hope you and the people around you are doing well. I hope this time away has been very beneficial for you long term. We'll still be here whenever you feel it's right to come back. For now, if you guys ever find yourself watching one of his old videos, comment something positive. You never know who to see. I'll be back on Saturday with an update on Steve. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Peace. the first. And both free throws good for Davis. Pass to Holiday. This is off the left iron. Their rebounding has been off the charts today, guys. Reason number one this game is out of hand. Here's Lewis. Back and down. Fader on the way. And he gets it to go. And he has 42. That's a very crafty move right there. When you're giving up height, it's time to unleash the fadeaway. Six to shoot. Williamson, there's the bucket. Good. The defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And here is Lewis. Kuzma. A three-pointer, no good. Ingram. to Holiday. Three-pointer. Can't get it to go. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Here's Lewis. Now here is Davis. No good with the layup. Davis with the double team. Ingram. Rebound the Lakers. Now here's Lewis. Green left side. Lewis with it. On deep. And again. Lakers. 
Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. One of the original founders of the esports organization, FaceClan. Before being one of the original members of Face, he was a part of a rival esports organization, Soar, for a short time. In March of 2013, he joined FaZe and began to help the organization grow to new heights. Banks' goal was to make FaZe more than just an esports team. He had the vision of real-life content with unique personalities. Banks wanted FaZe to be a lifestyle. Fast forward to today, and I can say without a doubt, he killed it. Today, FaZe is the biggest and most well-known esports organization. It has also become much more than that. It is now truly a lifestyle. Their community is filled with millions of people that love FaZe for the personalities of their creators, and not just their crazy trick shots. Banks has 5.38 million subscribers on YouTube and just over 400 million views to date. He started his channel in late 2011, posting short Call of Duty clips and gameplay. It took him over five years of posting to gain his first million subscribers, but after that, his channel, along with Face Clan, caught fire. From 2017 to mid-2019, he gained over four million subscribers, reaching five million just a month before his final video. His incredible growth lined up almost exactly with his switch to making in real life content instead of just gaming videos. His final upload was on May 21st, 2019 in response to Tibu's abrupt departure from FaceTime. Since then, his YouTube has gone silent, with no proper explanation as to why. Luckily for us, he still posts regularly on Instagram and Twitter, and has also started a podcast with Keen Star called Mom's Basement. The podcast has been going strong since March, with episodes once a week, usually on Wednesdays. YouTube has always been his biggest platform, though, so his current year-long hiatus has people wondering where he's been and why he hasn't uploaded. Banks left YouTube at the peak of his channel. He was reeling in around 3 million views per video with a very strong following. Fans of FaZe loved him as a creator and miss his YouTube videos still to this day. The issue is, I'm not sure if Banks will ever start posting on YouTube again. He has stated multiple times in the last year, including very recently, that he just doesn't enjoy filming his day-to-day -day life anymore. He still enjoys being in other creators' videos, which he will continue to do, but as for posting on his channel, I don't think it will happen anytime soon. I honestly understand this. Banks has struggled with depression and addiction multiple times in his life, so I completely agree he shouldn't be uploading if it doesn't truly make him happy. Also, he has become so much more than just a YouTuber. He may face what it is today. He may be more on the business side of phase now, but he still plays a pivotal role in the company. And it's not like he's stopping anytime soon. Currently, he is continuing to recruit insane talent and expand the organization every chance he gets. He's accomplished much more than he could ever imagine over the last seven years as an owner of FaZe, and I'm excited to see what his next moves are. To all the Banks fans, although I know you want to see him upload again, I think we all can agree his happiness comes first. Over the years, he's given us so much entertainment, so many laughs, and just an overall great talent. Before making this video, I honestly didn't know who Kuros was. And now after doing hours of research, I honestly still don't know. Kuros is somehow a ghost with over 7 million subscribers on YouTube. He has an Instagram he's never posted on, but no Twitter, no TikTok, nothing other than his two YouTube channels. It is honestly impressive that someone with that big of a following can still be a complete mystery. Kuros chooses never to talk about his personal life, even when asked on streams, so no one knows what he could be going through. There's only theories. After watching a few of his old videos, I see exactly why he has such a large following. The time and detail he puts into every single video is actually insane, not to mention they're hilarious. I can't wrap my head around the number of people that love his videos so much, but don't even know what he looks like. Now over the years, a few possible pictures of Kuros have leaked, but no one's truly sure if it's actually him. Also, I've watched all the What Happened to Kuros videos on YouTube I can find, and trust me when I tell you, Although they are still very entertaining, no one has any clue where he actually is. The best answer I can give you is that he's completely burned out on Fortnite and also dealing with depression. Don't worry though, you're not watching this video for nothing. There's actually an interesting situation related to Fearless that happened just a few days ago. As some of you might know, Fearless has a second channel called Fearless V2, which he live streamed on recently just to tell everyone he was okay. Other than that though, he hasn't posted on the channel in over two years. This is where it heats up. Three days ago, a copycat channel was created. This channel, sadly, is not Fearless, but it sure has tricked thousands of people into thinking it is. The channel reposted a video Fearless posted on its main channel in the past, and over the course of three days, that video now has over 200,000 views, and the channel is up over 60,000 subscribers. Maybe I should try to be Fearless for a few days. Anyways, who's ever running the channel also promised to live stream on August 7th. 
I doubt this is actually going to happen, but honestly, with a voice modifier, anyone can endure it. It is incredible how many people this copycat channel has tricked in these few days, and it shows how many people truly love and miss its videos. Honestly, I don't think Heroes will ever remake Heroes Storm on YouTube, but hopefully I'm wrong. We don't know what Heroes is going through, but for someone who has provided a lot of joy in our lives, we should do the same for him. If you ever find yourself watching an old Heroes video in the coming weeks, comment something positive. Sheldon, better known as Shuggy, is an Australian YouTuber with over 1.6 million subscribers. Other than two PUBG Mobile videos, Shuggy strictly posts Fortnite content. With a total of only 45 videos in around a year's time, he somehow managed to get over 130 million channel views. His channel grew extremely quickly from the start, gaining almost 500,000 subscribers and 20 million views in just his second month posting on YouTube. This can be attributed to his friendships with Laserbeam, Muself, and Fresh. People already knew and loved him from some of their videos, so subscribing to him was a no-brainer. Unlike those three, though, Juggy has always been a little bit of a mystery. The only real personal information known about him is his first name, Shelton. Other than that, though, no face, no last name, nothing. We all just know him as the Fortnite Gold Trooper, and that's it. I don't think anyone's complaining about that, though. Juggy is an amazing creator, and his videos are so entertaining, so it doesn't really matter who he actually is. The real mystery on our hands, where exactly is Shogi? It's now been over eight months since he's hosted the game YouTube. Outside Williams. Outside Williams. Outside Williams. Here's Holiday. Terrific oh, design on the pick foot, and he lays it in. It's really a bad time, guys, to go cold, as he's only one of six in the fourth quarter now. Now LeBron. Lewis with it. Now, here's Lewis. LeBron, left shot. Top of the key. Pelicans with the rebound. And here's Holiday. Rocket six. From deep three point range, no good. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's gone wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. Not the kind of pass you want to be making right there. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. The Pelicans trail. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Pass to Williams. Ball. Misses off the right iron. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. That's blocked. Now, here is Holiday. Holiday left on. Oh, that's blocked. They retain possession. And the first one drops. Uh, yeah. And he makes both free throws. Inside. LeBron. And 
goes to Davis. Can't get it to go. Holiday with it. They set the pick. Now here's Williams. Williams gets the bucket. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about something that you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Here's Lewis. Elbow shot. Can't get it to go. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. And that'll be his third foul so far. Lost a holiday Out of bounds The Lakers will take possession Got sloppy In a close game You have to take advantage of every opportunity Just a tiny lead for him Yeah, but a chance to make it grow here Now Lewis Fires for three Yes, and it's LeBron Picking up the assist they're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Now well, here's Holiday. Williamson. And it's New Orleans scoring again. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel. Zero points. Nada. But he's starting to get into the groove here in the second. Now here's Lewis. Lewis gets the bucket. Back to Williams. Puts up the tray. Anthony Davis with the rebound. He's not exactly striking him from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. To the inside. Caruso can't cash in from close range. Boy, blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor action. I don't know. You didn't answer? No. Okay, cool. I thought, I think it was a stranger, so. Okay, well, cool. I just wanted to hear. I, would, I hadn't heard. Okay? Okay. Are you cool enough? Yeah. All right.